do the family members and the friends of the victim, Travis Alexander, feel? Well, we are very, very honored to have with us tonight a very good friend of victim Travis Alexander, Taylor Searle. Uh, you've been in court all day. You are a friend of the victim. Your reaction to what you've heard in court today from Jody Arias's mouth. Well, after she was done recounting all of her witch training, uh, it seemed that she was actually talking about my friend for the beginning of her testimony when she talked about running into him in Las Vegas and how uh, he was pursuing her and how he was almost a gentleman and how he was pursuing her. That sounded like my friend. And I remember coming away thinking, she's actually making him sound like a pretty good guy, the way that he almost inspired her to want to change her life around and want to aspire to greater things. But when she got into the stories about him meeting her and handing, a, handing her a Book of Mormon in one hand and then asking for sexual favors in the other, that, that didn't sound like my friend. And it seems like there's, she's taking a lot of liberty with the things that can't be proven or disproven and telling the story she wants to tell. And what do you think the prosecution needs to do to puncture her stories? I mean, like a lot of people have said, if they can just show that she is a great liar and that she's a great actor, or actress, sorry, and that she has re uh, rehearsed these things and that when she's asked questions that aren't necessarily things that she's made up yet, um, it's going to be shown that she's a liar and that she doesn't have her defense counsel leading her on telling her what to say. And I think that it's just going to, the truth is going to be found out just because she won't be able to keep it up. 